Hey guys, it's me, Cave Johnson. And you really annoy the shit out of me. Really. You ask me nearly every day to make some hammer tutorials. To be honest, I got no clue about source, I uh, know, hammer, yeah, hammer editor or puzzle to offering tools. So I used Wealth develop Developer Community to get some information about droppers. Yeah, I want to show you how to make shell droppers in this video, but you can make cube droppers too, and human droppers or NPC droppers too. Pretty stupid stuff. Okay. So let's start with the tutorial. Now at first place an entity somewhere on the map. <coughs> yeah, for example here, a bit above the room. And make a double click on the entity. <coughs> and what? Oh. Make it a funk instance. Okay. Now give it a name like Dropper. And the VMF file name is wait. <laughs> this name. So instances slash gameplay slash paint dot VMF. <coughs> I don't wanna place it in the description, I think you can write it on your own. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, there are a few uh, variables you need to write and a few values. You need to start with the string symbol and write paint sprayer. And now give it a name, Chell Sprayer. Okay. Next thing. Trigger to start. Start. You can give it any other name if you want, like... Start now. <laughs> Don't know. Trigger to stop. Up. And the last thing, <coughs> paint type. And there are five different paint types. One paint type isn't available at the moment, this is number one. And this is the reflection gel. It was used to reflect lasers, but it wasn't worth it, I think, to place it in the game. I really don't know. So, zero is the blue gel bounce. One was reflection. Two is speed gel. Three is conversion. And four is the cleaning gel water. So, let's give it a value zero. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, it's kinda large. <laughs> you need to carve a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, doesn't matter now. Okay, now let's make a little trigger once. I just placed the trigger here. <coughs> okay, tie it to an entity, control T. And make it a trigger once, for example. At the start of your level. And go to outputs and add a new output. So on trigger, dropper. And now write trigger. And behind the dropper, that start. We want to use the trigger to start where you start. Okay. Trigger. It will say you that it's no real 
output, but <coughs> don't mind that it's in real output. <laughs> okay. And now you can run the map. Oh, one last thing. You need to RAD in normal or fast, at least normal. And in the map properties, you need to go to paint and map and make it yes. Okay. I go to run map and I see you in portal 2. So here we are in portal 2. <coughs> and you see here's our dropper. It looks pretty good up there with the note texture. Pretty amazing. And you remember, here's our trigger. Sorry about the lag, don't know why. And we can see the trigger if we enable SVGs. And now show free. Uh -oh. I, yeah, show triggers too. Okay. Was it yeah, there we go. And now we're going to run. It will disappear, so trigger once. And I told you to carve a hole in the wall. But there's our shell, and I think we can fly around a bit. It's looking pretty weird. Okay. You see? Our shell is working. The cat is fine too. So, thank you for watching. All from me now, Kev Johnson. And. Yeah, see you to the next time tutorial. I will post some more on the next time. I promise. Okay, goodbye. Shut the fuck up.